Hello everybody and welcome to my 59th VBA 2010 tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to show you how to use radio buttons. Uh, so a radio button is like uh, the tick, tick box but instead of when you have multiples of them you just been able to tick as many as you want. You link them together in a group and the user selects one of them. So when you tick one the other ones get deleted. So if we go into design mode and just delete our apples and then go into our insert and go to option button. Uh, they call them option buttons on here. I keep calling them radio buttons uh, because that's what you call them in web design. Um, so we create our option button uh, and we give it a caption. So let's call this one apples and let's call it uh, apples underscore option underscore box. I'm just going to copy that last bit because I'm going to use that over and over again. Uh, and then we also want to change this group name. So let's call this group name fruits. And now what will happen, uh, let's put this over here while we copy this. So when we copy and paste this three times, and then let's go into our properties and they'll all have group name fruits. Now let's change our caption to, let's have pears, and change this to pears, and then we want the rest of this. Uh, the reason I put pairs underscore option underscore box is so when you look at it, when your reference is in your code, uh, you're going to know uh, exactly, I don't know whether Mangoose has an E or not, uh, you're going to know exactly whether, what type of box it is that's being referenced. So that's just useful uh, kind of standard syntax. So mangoes. I've done it without any. I can't really remember which one it is. Um, I'm sure I'm frustrating many people with my brilliant spelling. Uh, so now we've got three different boxes and we come out of design mode and we tick one of these. It's going to tick it kind of the same way as normal, uh, except with a dot rather than a tick. When we select another one, it's going to deselect the other one. So you can only select one of the group. So that's really useful for when you want people to choose just one thing. Uh, and you reference them in the same way as you would reference uh, a checkbox. So we go into here. So let's just change this to uh, apples underscore option box uh, and so when we press submit on here it's going to come up with you like apples uh, if we go into design mode then we can just copy and paste this a few times and just change it each time so here we put in pairs and you like pairs then here we'll put in mangoes you like mangoes uh, and then come out of design mode so let's select pears it's going to come up and say you like pears let's go on mangoes you like mangoes uh, and apples still says you like apples uh, and so that is how you would use radio buttons um, that's going to be it for this tutorial uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a list box. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you soon.